Hello everybody, this is Suzanne Garfield. I'm going to talk about creating contacts in ServiceNow. Anytime someone asks you for help over the phone, in person, or in chat, you will need to fill out a contact form. Let's see how this works. I'm going to bring up a new contact form. You can see the caller field is the only one required. Caller equals customer. You always put the person's internet ID or name in this field. Here's a tip. If you put the internet ID in parentheses, only that person's info will appear in the autocomplete list. My caller today is Susan McKinnell, and her phone number is automatically populated because she's a real person here at the university. Always check with the customer to be sure it's correct. If the phone field doesn't fill in, ask the caller for their number. Also, ask what number they want us to use as their callback number. Susan would prefer to be called back on her cell phone. Okay, now what's the customer's issue? In this case, Susan's mouse is broken. I found the service offering in the incident model. It's hardware and software support and repair. I need to put in a short description. Mouse, very dead. Then let's check the contact type. Phone, that's the default, and yep, Susan called in. I'm going to come back to the contact result later on. We do need to enter some work notes. Then save. The work notes disappear. They are in the activity area. If you can't see them, just toggle the activity button. If they still aren't visible, click the expand collapse button. Here they are. Let's zip them up for now. I'm going to scroll down to the related links section so we can see all of Susan's incidents. As we get lower, we see Susan's RITMs, which are requested items. And if we keep going, we're going to see a whole bunch of other stuff. This is just way too much scrolling. Let's change the view so that the sections appear as tabs forevermore, no matter who the customer is. Looky, all Susan's records are grouped together in tabs. A couple things I want to highlight. These are here for your reference. You can look to see, has this person called about the mouse before? Is there an incident in progress already? Now we know that this is an incident. So the next step would be to click the link for Create an Incident and close this contact. Of course, you will not only create contacts for incidents, but for requests and for anybody asking any kind of question, or even if you get a hang up. For specifics on how to handle each of these situations, see the Knowledge Base article, Create a Contact.